Hello, this has been Mason Heimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm aboard a 4300 main ship aft cabin trawler. She's a 2001 and she's powered by Caterpillar engines. I'm going to go ahead and take you on a quick walking tour, and if you have any questions about this boat or any other boat you're looking to buy or sell, I'm going to have my phone number and email down there in the description below the video. Also, while you're down there calling me, please like and subscribe. I try to come out with new videos every week or so, just depending on my work schedule. All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is our 4300 main ship aft cabin trawler. As we walk down the side of the boat, you'll see it has a lot of good shine on it. Now we did catch the boat on wash day and it was out for the holiday weekend, so you might see a little water spotting. Uh, but the boat is used regularly and it's only being sold to make way for a larger vessel. So lots of good shine on the boat. Rails and rub rails all appear to be in good condition. You have a stair that mounts here, it's just up there. Now it'll mount here if you uh, need to get on the boat where you can't make it to the swim step. Integrated swim ladder. You have a step up here into your aft cockpit. Now something I like about this boat, a normal aft cabin, as soon as we come aboard, we're going straight upstairs with all our gear. On this one, we're just going to go straight down into the master bedroom and we can just set all of our gear on the bed and then load it into different areas when we're ready. Here in the master, we have storage all along this transom wall. You have a nightstand with storage on either side of the bed. You have hydronic heat and regular heat and air conditioning in this area. And you have some storage drawers underneath the bed there. The carpet's in good shape, headliner's in good shape, all the woodwork's in good shape. All I can say is we have one light bulb out right here, but other than that, she's looking pretty good. Nice mattress. This is a full-size queen bed, and it, it feels like a custom mattress, really nice and soft. Little TV, I think that could be upgraded, but it does work, and there is satellite television on this boat. You have a sliding door here. Here's your head with full shower. And we'll come over to the vanity, storage below, storage above, more storage behind this mirror, and your marine head. Okay, as we come into our salon, we have heat controls, battery monitors, water level, and normal AC and heat. This is hydronic heat, it works with diesel. This one is your normal one that will work with the generator. You have storage down below. Great woodwork throughout, and just a very nice view all the way around. So you have opening windows and shades that pull down, an opening door on either side. So a lot of light, natural light and uh, quite a bit of um, ventilation through here without ever using the AC or heat. Here's our helm, our shifters, video gauges, 1635 hours on port, 1648 on starboard. Here's your bow thruster all of your, your controls, your switches you'd need, your windless controls, throttles, more switching down below here. Really cool ship style wheel and just the woodwork and the whole thing just looks awesome. Just off of the helm chair, we have a um, freestanding table and four chairs. This table can slide out uh, and you can put it anywhere you'd like here in the salon. And also there's a desk behind the table and chairs, you can flip one of these chairs around and use the desk. There's storage in the desk, above, and then you have your breaker panel up here, and controls for your battery charger and inverter just to the other side. Across the way, we have the TV, which is on an arm, which will allow it to swing. Behind that, you have your sat TV boxes. Below, you have some pretty serious uh, stereo hardware, and I believe the owner also has a Roku hooked up here. Then some more storage and additional storage up above. Here's some of your speakers and light fixtures. This is kind of a cool feature. You have this support here and it has lights and built-in cup holders. I really like that. So you have an ultra leather sofa, port side. This can seat three people comfortably. It also makes out into a double bed. Moving forward, we have the galley. There's storage just below where these uh, stools are. You can put some dry goods and things in there and great countertop just to serve into your salon. I really like that. All right, so it's a proper galley. We have a full stove 
with four burners microwave they have their own deck uh, black and decker toaster oven here and then you have a standard full-size apartment refrigerator lots of storage throughout this whole area even in the floor underneath this pad double sink your own porthole tons of natural light and as you see um, I'm holding the camera at about five foot six level and this would be your view into your salon of your guests enjoying themselves just off the galley we have the day head so vanity with storage nice lighting more storage below marine head and then a very large stall shower here moving forward we're going to go into the v-berth so it can be either two beds or there's a filler cushion here it'll go in the middle it'll fill this in and uh, make one nice big bed. Storage below. Here we have a hanging locker with a really nice shelf up above. You have four portholes all the way around. And just, you know, great nooks and crannies everywhere where people can put their things. Here's a large hanging locker. Okay, so I've lifted up the stairs that go down to the galley. And underneath them you have your charger and storage, washer-dryer combo across the way. We have some storage here as well. And then we head on back into our engine room. So these are Caterpillar 3126s rated at 300 horsepower each. Everything's in good condition. The boat's used regularly and it runs like a champ. I was just out on it when I shot some drone footage. I have some very large batteries here. Air conditioning, recirculation pump, just outboard. All of your sea strainers are close at hand. More batteries here. More batteries in the middle. You have your uh, black water tank just behind that and the oil chain system there on the aft bulkhead. Uh, you also have a uh, automatic fire extinguishing system. Your fuel tanks are out to either side. I'll put the fuel, uh, how many gallons it holds, in the description. One thing to note, um, this is kind of low headroom coming through this way, but if you had to do something major, um, like say take off a cooling system or just whatever you wanted to do, the floor panels lift out and then you also have the stairs aft that also lift out. All right, we're going to head up to the bridge. Now one thing to note, we have a walkway here and we have a tender, we have something you can put an outboard motor on while underway. This one has a integrated um, helm and an outboard on it. The seller purchased this in anticipation of his new larger boat. So this doesn't go with it, but you do have the nice davit. And what's really cool with this is once you take this thing off, you have a great area to hang out in. Okay, three stairs up to the bridge. So we have good bridge seating. Great views, it's in great condition. All this Isinglass has just been replaced. I mean, literally like a couple weeks ago. So here's your sitting area with table, which is removable. I might add there's storage under all of these seats. You have a little igloo refrigerator under the helm seat and the helm seat can flip around and face aft as well. So great view from up here, very commanding view of what's going on and a really nicely laid out helm. You have cup holders that flip out on either side, trim tab controls, auto trim tab controls, windlass controls, all of your gauges, switches, another autopilot head, the Garmin VHF 100 here, and then I don't know if they're still using this one, but they had a small standard horizon below it. Actually, I think that might be the loud hailer. Engine synchronizers, you know, nothing's really pitted. It's all looking good. That could be cleaned a little bit, but the bright work is all real nice. And then you have this massive 15 inch 7200 series GPS uh, from Garmin. And this does GPS and radar and all the good stuff. And it's, it's all touch screen. So that's gonna make your life really easy. Heading up to the bow of the boat, you have really nice deep walkways and high rails that make you feel very secure that you're gonna stay on the boat in rough seas. 
So, we have forward shore power controls. Here's your foot controls for your windlass. Windlass up here. Nice big locker. Fender storage here. And really just a good boat all in all. Especially at the price point. All right, that's gonna wrap up our tour of this 2001 Main Ship 430F cabin trawler. After seeing the tour, what do you think of her? Please give me your comments down below. I also will have my phone number and email in the description below. Again, this has been Masonheimer for Silver Seas Yachts. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the water.